be barking in the background and Wally sounding like a FedEx truck. It wouldn't be Ark of Grace unless it was this way. Hello to everybody jumping on. I see people from Florida, New York, Arizona. Hello. God bless you. Hello to our moderators who are coming on. We so appreciate them. I'm going to pray right away because um, I want to jump into this word from the Lord. And I want to talk about very quickly a prophecy fulfilled that is in the midst of happening. Okay. So Father God, in the precious name of your son, Jesus Christ, we come before you and we praise you that you are God. You are an ever present help in times of trouble. You are a righteous judge, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and Omega. And we give you all the glory, honor and praise due your name. Father, we ask you in the name of Jesus Christ, first and foremost, to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Lord, every way we've sinned and fallen short because we fall short every day, but your mercies are new every day. Glory to God. We ask you, wash us and cleanse us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we acknowledge you sent your one and only son, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, in the flesh, to the earth in the flesh, in the form of a man, that he came as the spotless lamb to be the sacrifice for our sins, because we had a debt we could not pay. We were found guilty under God's righteous laws. He took our place. He purchased us by the shedding of his blood. He was beaten for our transgressions and bruised for our iniquities. And the chastisement of our peace is upon was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. Glory to God. We praise you, Lord, that we were reconciled to you. We were purchased and bought with a price. And after Jesus was buried, he rose again in three days. He ascended back into heaven, took his rightful place at the right hand of the Father, where he rules and reigns forevermore. And we declare that Jesus is Lord, and we honor that sacrifice before you. Father, I ask in the name of Jesus Christ, you would loose, release, and deploy your holy warring angels and holy angels of all rankings and divisions to surround the skies are in the land in this broadcast, Father God, to make a hedge, a shield, and a holy firewall. And to, in the name of Jesus Christ, strike down, abort, cancel, dismantle every assignment, plot, scheme, contract of the enemy. Satanic agents, dark forces, unclean spirits, familiar spirits, puppets, and agents of the enemy and the like. We apply the blood of Jesus Christ as a covering to hide us in the secret place, Father God, and to act as a barrier that we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, muzzles and mutes. Any and all lying spirits, um, spirits of divination, familiar spirits, spirits attempting to impersonate the Most High God, Holy Spirit, monitoring spirits, and those attempting to remotely monitor. We apply the blood of Jesus Christ as a filter, so only the words of the Holy Spirit and the Most High God come through. Father, by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, by the Spirit of the one true living God, may only the truth come forth, Father God. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, as your vessel, I ask you, fill me with all wisdom, counsel, might, power, reverential fear of the Lord, pinpoint precision, accuracy, and prophetic insight and utterance, discernment and discerning of spirits. Thank you, Father God. Lord, take all the glory for yourself, because without your breath of life in us, we don't have life. You are the potter, and we are the clay, and you are the author and finisher of our faith. We give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You can tell the presence of the Lord is moving because while he's sounding like a cell phone and the other two are here. Let me shut the door because Toby is barking up a storm here. And it's because our lumber delivery is coming uh, because we have to do um, some modifications for the animals. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hello to everybody jumping on. Blessings. So basically... Um, before I read this word from the Lord, that is going to be on Amanda Grace, the number for him.blogspot.com. Give it Dawn Marie till tomorrow morning, please, to put it up. Animals are noisy today. Welcome to the sanctuary. While he's making all sorts of noises, let me tell you, we had him out on Grace and Glory, actually. He came out. I do want to do a prophecy fulfilled that is very important for now. So I'm going to read it real quick. Thank you, Wally. I won't be surprised if he starts going, hello, because that's what he does. So on March 27th, 2021, I gave or delivered, really, a word from the Lord. And in that word, here's the paragraph. Palaces shall be struck and royalty challenged as to what happened to their members so long ago. Diana is resurfacing in a whole new way. And a key piece of evidence, a certain royal forces to the surface shall come too close for comfort, says the Lord. 
This shall be proven by events that so occur. Let's put up the headline, Andre, as uh, Wally continues to sound like a cell phone. The headline is, here it comes. Princess Diana scandal is a genuine crisis for the BBC, May 21st, 2021. So this is almost two months later after this word was given. Basically what happened was this reporter, Martin Bashir, who worked for the BBC, obtained an interview of a lifetime with Princess Diana. They have now found out that he forged documents, legal documents, to get this interview, a judge has investigated and ruled this because executives at BBC suppressed this, and it was literally at the bottom till the dross came up and exposed that, because this was the interview that Prince William says was basically the complete demise of his parents' marriage and ultimately the demise of Diana. And Harry's coming out swinging, saying they killed his mother. Uh, so this is something that is surfacing now in the middle of all of this. And why is this important? Um, it's important because things that have been suppressed for so long that have caused chains of events like this at this moment in time are coming to the surface. So this is why this is important. We are in the greatest time of exposure that we have ever been in. And so this goes worldwide. And so this is showing this pattern of what was suppressed so long ago that nobody thought anyone would find uh, out about what are you doing, Wally, is now coming to the surface and being exposed. So I figured that was worth noting. And, um, you know, all glory be to God for accuracy because Diana had not been talked about like this in a very long time. And that word was given March 27th, 2021. So almost two months prior uh, to this happening. And so basically um, that was something I thought that we should basically start this off with. Now, let me get the word up. This word took days to get, I have to tell you. I started with the Lord getting it May 24th, 2021. It was about a couple days later that the Lord gave me the rest of this word. Uh, there is also a dream about Gettysburg I had that we are still decoding and unpacking that uh, I will be talking about soon, as soon as it is completely broken down, because it's very important, um, this dream that I had. So... This uh, started on the 24th, this word. A couple days later, the Lord woke me up during the night and gave me the rest of this word. There is a lot here. So this is going to take some time to develop. Some things we may see develop more quickly than others. Uh, all glory be to God. And this is what it says. Blessed are you, O capital Lord, King of the universe, who is the vine and we are the branches. All glory and honor to him who sits on the throne and rules as a righteous king and judge. To Adonai's name be all capital. Thank you, grace, the glory and honor forever and ever. Amen. And the spirit of the Lord says this day, I, the Lord God, am going to take their cornerstone. I am going to knock it out of joint, says the Lord of hosts, for the cornerstone of the plans of the wicked is compromised down to those who constructed such a wicked foundation for a plan that has manipulated, constricted, and implanted, that's capitalized, fear into the nation, says the Lord of hosts. The implants, that's capitalized, the molecular code and construct, the molecular chain shall be dissected more and more in the secrets of not only the wicked and corrupt, but drug companies, health organizations, billionaire backers, and secret scientists that are within labs, within a lab. A heavily guarded area that is removed, separated from the rest of the lab. There shall be more than one exposed, says the Lord of hosts this day. And says the spirit of the Lord this day. 
I am God, there is no other, all capitals. As much as they would deceive through the father of lies, that serpent of old, the devil, as much as they would deceive and fool the nations, fool the younger generation, as much as they shall try, I, the Lord, shall reveal my capital self in greater measure. I, the Lord, shall and will visit those who are pondering, quote, if I am real, says the Lord. However, I shall also visit some of the pharaohs who have taken what does not belong to them, and they shall be given an ultimatum as was Abimelech. They shall be given a choice, and what they so choose shall be the fate that befalls them, mercy or judgment, says the Lord of hosts. For Abimelech, there are a few, says the Lord. The Abimelech shall change course, says the Lord of hosts this day. And says the spirit of the Lord this day, what he's saying there is very few Abimelechs are going to listen and change their course. That's what he's saying. And says the spirit of the Lord this day, another unlikely union shall form between two countries. However, it shall be a shield for another to protect the darkest of plans for another. For I, the Lord thy God, capital, shall pierce the plans of Middle East nations, and I, the Lord, shall pierce, that's capitalized, the plans of the wicked in the nation of the eagle, and I, the Lord, shall pierce, that's capitalized, the plans of the leadership of Canada with their secret oaths and indebtedness to the council, says the Lord of hosts. A scandal, a scandal of great proportion shall hit the leader of Canada, says the Lord of hosts this day. And then hearing Slovakia, watch the Panama Canal, the Gulf of Mexico, says the Lord, watch that area. And says the spirit of the Lord this day, my love for my capital children, the depths of it. If you only knew and understood my capital children, that I love my flock, I love my children. And I, the Lord, is their father and king, capitals, am pivoting. That's also capitalized in this hour. There shall be many pivots, that's capitalized, for I am causing my children, those who have a passion to serve me, I am elevating them and ensuring they are placed where they will break through great barriers in this hour as my power and glory are demonstrated. Hearing the barrier reef, watch that area, says the Lord of hosts this day, and says the spirit of the Lord this day. I have equipped my capital children and I have given you a living and active word. Use it, capitals, for I, the Lord thy God, in this hour am raising a standard that's capitalized. The enemy has no answer for, and neither do the lost or those who serve his interests, says the Lord. This standard shall be unlike, and I also have in parentheses, online, okay? Because the Lord may be using online. Uh, to, as part of this standard. Any other that's capitalized, says the Lord. As I so raised a standard at the Red Sea, as I so raised a standard against Goliath, as I, the Lord, so raised a standard with Elijah on Mount Carmel, as I raised a standard with Noah, as I raised a standard with my son, Jesus Yeshua, as I raised a standard with the disciples on Pentecost, so I, the Lord, your God, shall raise a great standard. The flood shall not penetrate. And this standard shall cause the current of the wicked to reverse. They shall be caught in their own quagmire. Hearing the word conundrum, the woven web, the big picture shall be exposed as publications shall fall in this hour who are attacking those hitting the heart capitals of the operation. And says the spirit of the Lord this day, I, the Lord, am constructing a new foundation in the church from the ash and the persecution and the threats, a church is arising who has a boldness and a desire to truly shepherd, to truly stand for my capital word. A church arising with a new breed of leadership who do not just speak as soothsayers, manipulators, or will only go so far and box themselves in. No, this is a new breed of leadership, says the Lord. Those who have been refined, who have stood in the heat boldly in their faith and have come out victorious, says the Lord of hosts. 
These are the ones walking in true power and authority. These are the ones who have set the precedent. And these are the ones, says the Lord thy God, I am mightily using in this hour, for they operate in faith, not fear of a fallible government, but in faith as they have chosen who they serve, says the Lord of hosts. I, the Lord of hosts, am triggering many chain reactions in government, in nations, and chemically as well. A scandal with leadership out of Israel. Things are not as they appear. However, I, the Lord, will defend my firstborn as the Arabs and the Persians have made agreements in secret, says the Lord. Hearing Indonesia. Watch Spain amidst all of this, says the Lord of hosts. Things shall bubble over as a boil takes place. There is much trading places happening, says the Lord of hosts. The head or the heads of those who lead in secret, are switching much, including with people. Watch for these switches, says the Lord of hosts this day. And says the Spirit of the Lord this day, a bridge shall collapse. Pray, my children, pray. And a major road in London, one that has made headlines before, there shall be an incident, as I, the Lord God, had denied, dig into England's secret ties, and a shocking discovery shall shake up and shift that country yet again. There is much jockeying for position going on. And I, the Lord, shall jostle them and upset their plans. That who's who, capital W-H-O, is involved in. For they are looking for something more effective and secret, something a bit more rare. As in the country of the eagle, the leadership shall release another scare upon the people, says the Lord of hosts. Expect a mockingbird to be accelerated as they attempt yet another scare. However, this shall cause sections and cornerstones of news networks to crumble and cave, causing quite a fall, says the Lord this day. The weapons of your warfare are not carnal, my children, but mighty through God, capitals, to the pulling down and destruction of strongholds, says the Lord of hosts. For truly greater is he that is in you than he, that coiling serpent who is in the world. And I, the Lord, say this day, this whole paragraph is capitalized. No, Obama, this land was not promised to you or any who submit and follow suit with the kingdom of darkness and the radicalness and confusion of Islam. No, this is not your land or the land of those who are actively choosing to dismantle and purge any sense of God in this covenant nation. And says the spirit of the Lord this day, a new Soros to contend with, says the Lord. For I, the Lord your God, contend with those who contend with you. I fight against those who fight against you. My children, take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for your help. That's capitalized. Draw out spear and javelin and close up the way of those who pursue and persecute you. The Lord is your deliverance, capitalized. Watch the heartland and that's capitalized says the lord of your nation of america watch the heart capital of the land capital change as a string of events takes place in your nation says the lord in this hour my sheep must know my voice they must know that's all capitalized and as strangers they will not follow truly the people of your nation Need a shepherd, says the Lord. And even though there has been a delay, for my ways are higher than your ways and my thoughts higher than your thoughts, and ailing Ahab is not in line with the covenant I made with this nation, says the Lord of hosts. However, it is time to wake up, that's capitalized. There are those who will be shaken out of their slumber as a shaking occurs in part of your nation. For in the realm of the spirit, there is a greater war in the heavenlies for the soul that's capitalized of your nation and is not capitalized the enemy's time, says the Lord of hosts. As he attempts to accelerate and speed up, I, the Lord, will slow down and rewind. The turning back of the clocks in fall. Watch, says the Lord. Watch for around the time of the Jewish feast. Those two things intersect, I believe, the turning back of the clocks. Um, or no. The turning back of the clocks just happened in fall. That's interesting. The turning back of the clocks, and then he goes in fall. So the turning back of the clocks just happened, I believe, not long ago. 
Watch, says the Lord, watch for around the time of the Jewish feast, and there shall be many reveals, that's capitalized, that shall change the direction of nations, that shall change majorities, that shall change the guard with royalty, says the Lord of hosts. O oh, capital England, says the Lord of hosts, I am calling to you, O oh England, I am calling you back to the fold that's capitalized. There shall be revival in England, says the Lord, and believers shall come forth with such a boldness that it will make those in leadership quake as the fear of the Lord goes out into the earth, which is the beginning of wisdom. And says the spirit, this whole paragraph is capitalized. Hear ye all the inhabitants of the earth, Come back and return unto your creator, the Lord God Almighty, in this hour. Come back under the protection of the great shepherd, for the contractions that are upon you shall be intense to bring change, for the Lord is not done with the nations. O America, hear the word of the Lord this day. Of Israel, hear the word of Adonai this day. Hear those who dwell in the nations. Okay? That's, O Israel, hear the word of Adonai this day. Hear those who dwell in the nations and surrender to the Lord as these events take place at the hand of the one who sits on the throne and rules and reigns forevermore, dot, dot, dot. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the King of kings and the Lord of lords who loves his children and has proven so by sending Jesus Christ for you to be reconciled to him who sits at my right hand, meaning the Lord's forevermore. Amen and amen. That is where this word ends. This is where it ends. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So there's a lot to unpack in this word. We're going to have to watch this over time transpire and exactly how it transpires because uh, there's a lot there and how the Lord looks um how the lord looks at oh so the clock does go back in the fall that's right the turning back of the clocks comma in fall so he's giving a time reference there okay thank you for that thank you for that okay time change comes again in the fall so we give all glory to god pray about it test the spirit um, some of these things will take time to unfold and the Lord may look at it differently than we do. So he may see it and mean it one way and we think it's another way. And this is why it's important to always um, pray and watch and watch how it unfolds. And sometimes the Lord gives us the insight ahead of time, which is wonderful. But a lot of these uh, are, you know, parts of these words have to be decoded because the Lord may speak in parables or he may say it uh, in another sort of tone. So we praise the Lord for that. Um, we will put it up on the blog, Amanda Grace, the number four him.blogspot.com. Uh, you can get to our blog too from our website, arcofgrace ministries.com. We do have an app, Ark of Grace. So if you download the app, there is a content we will just put on the app at times when we want to discuss certain things. So please get the app. And um, we also have Ark of Grace Ministry on Facebook because we had to redo that because uh, the other account became compromised. So I give I praise the Lord. And uh, we will see how all of this unfolds. Oh, look at this heartland in Manhattan, Kansas. There is a bio lab that's supposed to be finished by 2022. I'll look into that. I will look into that and let you know what I find. Uh, thank you for that. So God bless everybody. We honor today as we go into Memorial Day weekend, our fallen heroes. Greater love hath no man than this, that one would lay down his life for the other. And we honor all of the fallen heroes that have given their lives to protect us and to protect this nation and their families as well, because the families serve along with them. They do. So we honor you for that. And that's what Memorial Day is truly about. And we just hope you have a wonderful weekend. I am working on Psalm 23 and I am working on this Gettysburg dream that 
I ended up having this week. There's quite a few things that have to be broken down with this. And I will discuss it prayerfully at the beginning of next week. I will start to discuss it. And I'm also working on this Psalm 23 teaching. We will announce for next week um, any interviews that I have. And um, that's about it. To God be all the glory. Thanks for putting up with all the animals. And we'll keep you posted as it gets closer to the two new additions that are coming to the sanctuary. So keep the faith, have a wonderful day. We love you and we give all glory to God. God bless everyone.